Hey guys, Matt Dancho here, and today I'm just going to cover briefly what ROI is and how we get that from a machine learning and data science project. So uh, this is comes from module seven that I'm just getting ready to release in this course. Uh, it's called ROI, that stands for Return on Investment. And what we're gonna be covering here is just very briefly kind of what a lot of data science departments and teams, they don't know how to do. So um, and learning this is gonna make you very valuable. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load in some of the code from the course and I wanna explain what, uh, what, what the goal is uh, in order to be able to help show businesses how much money you're saving them or how much money you're making them. So uh, what I'm doing here is e importing the email lead scoring. Uh, it's the ELS module that we create in the course. Uh, I'm also going to um, import some leads. These are email leads. These are subscribers of a uh, company's uh, email data set and it has some information on what actions they've taken with the company. And then what I'm going to do here is just briefly open up the lead scored. And this is going to apply a model and actually score the, um, the leads. And Ideally, the higher the score, that's going to mean they're more likely to make a purchase of a product. Okay, so we can utilize that lead score, but this is where a lot of data science departments, they stop and you want to keep going because you actually want to convert this lead score into a probability and into um, an assessment as to how much money you can save the company. Here, we've got a lead score of 0 0.896. That means in theory, the probability is 8. 0.9% that this person, Garrick Langworth, is likely to make a purchase. Is that high? Is that low? Well, we don't really know at this point. Um, what we want to do, though, is we want to create some sort of strategy. And that is um, the, the whole idea, the concept behind this section of the course. So we're going to come up with one function here. And this is just a single one-liner. It's going to take our lead scored and it's going to come up with an optimization. Just a quick shift and enter here. Shift and enter. The optimization results are done and let's check them out. So there's going to be several keys here. There's going to be a lead strategy, an expected value, and a threshold optimization and a threshold plot. So we'll just go down through some of the outputs that we're going to create in this section of the course. Um, the first one is, um, if I just create the keys list, the first one is our, uh, and, th and this is for the key list zero, which is our lead strategy. This is going to give us a new column over here as to whether or not we should target uh, somebody. And this has been optimized to ensure that we, we str strategically target the hottest leads, okay? Um, the next thing that I'm gonna pull in is the expected value. And this is a table here um, that contains the threshold that we should use in order to be able to se select. And this threshold is basically saying 90% of uh, the, the hot leads or the, the number of purchases should be targeted and that will give us an expected value of $327,000 per month, which is an expected savings of about $100,000 per month for that company. So you factor that for a whole year, if everything even just stays constant, which we know that normally email lists grow, um, you're going to save at least probably $1.2 million and probably a lot more than that as the email lists uh, grow. Um, the next thing that we, we can do is we can check out the, uh, whoops, let's look at key list number two. This is the threshold optimization. So this is the table where we get that information from. And basically what the optimization results have, has done is taken a threshold of uh, a bunch of different values and determined how many leads we should target. And it's highlighted the max in each column. So if we want to get uh, the maximum savings or the maximum expected value, uh, what that is, is going to target about 81% of our leads. But um, the problem is, is that, you know, a company that's used to making monthly sales of about $250,000 with a brute force um, approach, meaning that they just send email blast after email blast after email blast to everyone, you know, they, they probably get $250,000 a month. So it's telling them that they're only going to get 200,000 in that first month and it's going to take another three months to get the, the next $138,000. Um, even though a total net of $342,000 in gross, um, they, may, they may have a little bit of a, a, a heartache with that. So what we do is we put a safety net 
and we say, all right, we're going to target 90% of our sales. All right. So we're going to get $227,000 in that first month and uh, by targeting 90% of the customers and not targeting that last 10% is actually a lot of customers because these are the lowest probability people are purchasing and you're going to, and what you're going to do is you're going to send those nurture emails. So that's what we're doing in this section. We're going to optimize it and we have that safety net set to target 90%, meaning that this value here for this month doesn't go below $227,000. And that shows $100,000 savings, meaning that they're going to make $327,000 in probably the next 60 to 90 days because these people that they're going to hit with nurture emails, some of them are eventually going to get uh, do actions to get them into that hot target uh, category. And they're not going to fall off the email list because they're being you know, sold too early. And then the last one is, and this is actually really cool. This is the uh, threshold chart. So the threshold plot actually shows us, and this is a great tool for management. And if you zoom in on here, what we can do is we can say, okay, your brute force strategy is going to get you $250,000 a month. But if we do 90%, uh, that's going to get you up to about $327,000 a month. But what we see is there's actually a, a, a nice spike here and then it kind of flat lines. So what you can do is you can use this to convince management and say, hey, if we can just increase the thresh or decrease the threshold down to 89%, okay, that's going to get you up from $327,000 a month to about $338,000 a month, an extra $10,000 a month. Um, if they can budge on that, um, they're still going to get you know a fair amount of sales. So that's literally just moving down to this next rung. They're going to get an extra fourteen thousand dollars of sales, and they're only going to lose three thousand dollars in that first month. Okay, so this is why ROI is so important. It's really important to understand how you're going to apply these machine learning models to your business, and it's really important to be able to showcase to management hey, this is what we're going to be doing to save the company money. And this is how we're going to get a return on investment from this project. And then you can quickly show them, you know, even if our email list stays flat, we're still going to save about $1.2 million this year. And if your email list keeps growing like it has been, it could go, you know, to 1.5 to 3 million to 5 million over the next couple of years if we just keep implementing this strategy.